Hey YouTube, this is MindTech. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be responding to some comments that I've gotten on my video that I made about Epicam HD, which allows you to use your phone as a webcam on your computer. One comment that I've gotten that kind of makes me angry is that, oh, this is a virus. Oh, I've seen from many sources that this must be a virus. Today I'm going to prove to you that it is absolutely not a virus. In fact, it does exactly what it's supposed to do, and I'd say it does it pretty well. First of all, I'm going to go and scan the Epicam installer that I've downloaded from their website. To right click that, scan with Windows Defender. It's running a custom scan. I believe it's actually scanning my entire downloads folder. And as you can see right here, no current threats. So if this was a virus, first of all, Microsoft would make sure to put it in their database and instantly when you download that, it would say that there would be a virus warning. If I go to the Epicam website and click on download the drivers, it goes perfectly through. Normally, if you had malicious software, it would say, are you sure you want to keep this file because this type of file can harm your computer. And even when I go to open it up on the computer, although it does give me a user account control, that doesn't mean that it's a virus. That just means that Windows needs to have permissions that the software can make changes to your computer. And another thing I'd like to note is that a lot of people have downloaded this, tens of thousands of people in fact, and not only has it gotten over four star ratings, it has also not been removed from the app store. Even two instances of it haven't been removed from the app store. If this software was malicious, if it was hacking your computer in some sort of fashion. I'm pretty sure Apple would not allow it to both be on the Mac platform and on the iPhone platform. And the same goes for Google. It's on both platforms and it's been supported for many years. This software has been around since at least 2011. That's had almost a decade to be audited by Google, Microsoft, Apple, and none of them have found any threats and none of them have removed it. Normally, if you have a website that clearly is trying to put a virus on your computer, that domain name will get removed. But this domain name, has still been around for many, many years. One thing also, there are any intrusive ads on this website. Whenever I go to download it, I'm not doing it from an external server. There aren't any pop-ups. There aren't alternative download links that's trying to have me download another program onto my computer. And whenever I install this, it's not installing any toolbars. It's just installing the software. That alone probably should make you trust this. But when I read these comments, I was like, well, what are people saying? This is one Reddit thread that I found. This person was saying, oh, I've used it for a long time. It's seems like it's pretty safe. But down at the bottom, he said, I noticed that when the app is closed, the process is still running. So I quickly removed it. It has to run in the background because whenever you connect up your phone, it instantly establishes a connection with the computer. It isn't just when you open up the software, I could just have the computer locked and it would say Epicam is connected. If I open up Task Manager right now, Epicam is not open, but the Epicam tray is still running. This is the process that establishes that connection. It also is a service on your computer that Microsoft approves for use. If I pop into services, the only service always runs and the description is the connection manager. It is just trying to broker that communication between your phone and your computer. And if you still don't believe me, I'm going to run an antivirus scan on my computer right now. Virus threat protection, quick scan. Epicam is installed on my computer. The viewer is up and running right here. And as you can see, no threats are found. So I'm not trying to scam you guys. This software is completely safe. It's been around for years. It's gotten a lot of ratings, a lot of attention. I just think it's really cool software. And I still recommend that you install it on your computer. I hope that this was informative. And I hope that if you are still uneasy about downloading it, this video can really help to prove to you that it is perfectly fine. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll catch you all in the next video.